Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the Arena Survival Act roguelike itself, but modded, though, because we are going to be checking out the genetically modified Overkill mod once again. Let's combine two characters together, all the positives and all of the negatives make a brand new one. Today, we're going to be going for a one-armed, one-armed, which you may think is just going to be, you know, extremely strong and still can hold one gun. Kind of. We'll get into it. You'll just have to see. Let's grab the revolver. I feel like I just kind of want to try that one out. Uh, and then danger five. So you may notice the problem. <laughs> we have um, minus four arms. And you may think, OK, well, you have a gun anyways. Yeah, that is good. It is true. However, having negative four arms means the game thinks we're at maximum cap for weapons. And therefore, we are never going to find an upgrade to this weapon in the shop. However, we still get the massive benefits as well, like the huge benefits of 400% attack speed and damage modifications increased by 200%. But we are limited to only ever having the standard revolver. It is going to be absolutely absurd. Don't get me wrong, but it is still going to be a common revolver nonetheless. Uh, I think it's going to be A-OK -okay, all right. Obviously, having a 0.5 second cooldown is going to be the biggest problem of this run, so to speak. But there's also some, you know, sort of good benefits. God, I don't know. I got to take some damage. It just sounds fun. Okay, fine. Harvesting. Uh, there's some good benefits to only having the common version here and never getting weapons in the shop. And that is that, you know, we can get a hell of a lot of... You yeah, know, damage upgrades just showing up in our face. Bagger could be good or something, or fertilizer. Like, I I'll take some econ stuff. Like, it's cool that I can buy econ in shop one and not even have to blink an eye. You know? Not even bat an eye, even. <laughs> not even blink an eye. Uh, because, yeah, like, I can't get another gun, so I don't have to do the hyper roll. We can start ourselves off a little bit stronger there. Because we are playing a character that has... And has always had, even as a base, one of the strongest starts possible, right? Uh, they only become a little bit worse over time, usually. Get some range up. I'll take the two armor. We still have to think about that. I'll get bag. God, if you're going to keep showing up, I maybe I do take Lumberjack shirt. I just assume we can one-shot it. Eh. I assume we can one-shot regardless is the thing. I'll get Scar. Especially with, like, a little early harvest start. We'll want some luck as well. But generally, we need to go pretty darn strong with our flat damage. Like, we wanna, want to eventually make it so, and probably can make it so, each bullet is a one-shot. Right? And that's the reason I took this in instead of the SMG. Like, SMG is good. Let me be clear. It's an incredibly good weapon. But, it you know, it hits the cap of like sort of attack speed not cap but like soft cap of attack speed a lot quicker um especially because the common version has a 30 percent scaling it only gains range damage scaling as it levels up revolver starts off with one flat uh damage for every range damage which is a lot better like it's just a lot better don't want to take that uh hmm hmm Tanking my range by a lot is not really what I'm looking for, but good god, if you want like high damage, it's a pretty thing, like pretty thing to trash. <laughs> it's a pretty thing to trash. It's a pretty good thing to trash. But you know, like I'm looking into the future, I'm seeing that I want to take any Cyclops worms. I'm gonna want to take, uh, you know, the damage up range down that's in the shop as well. The thing is, as long as we're shooting at enemies at all times, this is not relevant, the range, but, you know, we're not, is the thing. Okay, I'm going to take the flat range damage there. 15 luck. I can't say no to that. Uh, grab a whole bunch of harvesting. Why not? Why not? Let's get rich. Let's get rich. We're going to get the luck where we're more likely to find, like, any specific item we might want. That item in mind sort of being like a crown. Potentially an early crown if we stack some luck. That could be pretty good. We could get all the luck-based items. We probably should have taken the um, the elephants. 
sort of forgot about that aspect, you know? That's a, a pretty important aspect of one-armed. It's a great way to get some extra sources of damage. To kind of s help you with the fact that your weapons will have a type of attack speed cap to them. They just will. S it's like a soft cap. I'll take four HP regen. Okay, I'm definitely taking the three harvest thing. I'll take bait. What could go wrong? Take the 10 harvest things, sure. Padding? Tree could be good, especially since we got uh, two bags already. Ooh, yep, yep, yep. These guys taking multiple bullets is certainly concerning. These guys are as well. Crit will be a very appealing thing to pick up. It kind of makes it so we have a plus... Kind of like a plus 400% damage scaling upgrade if we crit. Sort of, sort of, you know? So we got the two times multiplier. Uh, we get three times the stats that we normally would with a 200% upgrade because, you know, we get the 100% for an extra and then we get an extra 100%. And then the final version of our damage gets multiplied by two. It's pretty silly. Pretty, pretty silly. I will say, even with the massive damage drop off. Hmm. I mean, it just makes no sense to take attack speed. If I take if I take this, let me tell you, it wouldn't even go down from 0 0.07. It just wouldn't. Let's fix my range. Yeah. Fix my range, grab some luck. Tree. I don't really want speed down. Let's look for those luck items now. I mean, we could take propeller hat, but I don't want to drop my damage as well. Fine. Yeah, I, I really regret, because uh, there's a baby elephant. I regret not taking that. You see Ritual being good. We're 68 damage. That should be one-shottable uh, most things, you know, right? I don't think the little chargers are going to be one-shot or anything. Oof. It is fun to just unload the six shots right there into that ooh, big fool, and then he just evaporates. That is pretty fun to watch. You know, I wonder... I haven't looked into if getting more attack speed at this point. Like, wh where are we at with the diminishing returns on the reload cooldown, right? Like, could I get more attack speed and have that cooldown go down by a lot? It might be some science worth doing. Because that does scale off of your attack speed. It does indeed. So, like, that could be interesting indeed. Couple crates. Laser turret. No... Scope? I, I suppose so. Yeah. Definitely fingers. Missiles? Great. Uh, I kind of want to take pumpkin preemptively. Uh, I don't really want to take injection right now. For the love of God, stop showing up. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Oh, bah. Four flat for minus 12% damage. Uh, it's a little weird. With this specific version of the character, it's a, it's a little bit silly. Yeah, we're still at 0 0.07, even though we took 13% uh, attack speed down. So that definitely modifies... It's a 0 0.6 cooldown. Okay, well that went down from point, what, 0.59? How much of a difference will it make? It's really hard to tell when you're dealing with numbers that minute, but it's also really, <laughs> it's really important. Like, it's our only source of damage at the moment until I get my head out of my butt and get some luck damage items. So, I don't know. It's the situation where a 0.1 kind of thing or even a 0.01 kind of a thing can make a difference for our damage output when we're dealing with such small numbers. Could. Sure. Nope. Nope. There we go. Lots of crit, lots of damage there. Spicy sauce. 
is fine. It's like another source of damage, so I'll just take it for that. Repost is a little bit weird here. My melee damage is abysmal. And I don't really want to have to think about it. Scope good. Still at 0.6. Cooldown went to 0 0.08. Cooldown went to 0 0.08. Okay. So 20% attack speed. 20% attack speed brings us down by 0.01. Interesting. Very interesting. I mean, there's an alienize. We take that for sure, even if we don't have that much, uh, you know, health. We're going to be getting a lot of percentage damage, hopefully. Eyes doing 32, which is not that great. Probably not going to make a difference for anything. The funny thing is, this is normally an amazing, amazing wave for us in most runs. Probably our least preferred wave today. Whoop. We hate a horde wave. We absolutely hate a horde wave until we get, uh, you know, some of the luck kill items or piercing. We're going to need speed up. We are going to need some speed up. The alien eyes aren't doing jack squat. They're kind of an investment for later. Definitely see how this is a much scarier wave, though. Okay, we got a crate. Good. Because we have bag. Crates are extra nice. Um, is it, it might be worth the 24 just for the experience gain. I'm taking it, as silly as it looks. Improved tools. I'll grab it. Turrets are something. You know, we could get them, but they don't scale well, like, at all for us. It's kind of good for, like, a garden or a medical turret. Those are more what I would be thinking of doing with that. See, this is, like... I don't know. It's 17 damage every... It's just not that exciting. Like, I know it's going to be attacking very fast, but I'm never... I'm never going to be taking engineering. Never. Never, ever. Uh, baby with a beard! Changes everything. Cyberball changes everything. All right. We are about to just, you know, absolutely have a wonderful time. Cyberball did 10? Man. It's not that good yet. We need more percent damage, like just actual, just percent damage. It's not nothing, because we could be doing 10 a lot of times and we don't have to think about it. But yeah, that's... Certainly was expecting a little bit more. Maybe we can get more cyber balls and more luck. Go absolutely wild. It's the dream. I'll say it's definitely helping. Comparing wave 10 here to wave 9. It is definitely, definitely helping. In a way that you wouldn't think, knowing it's just 10 damage. I have, have to clarify because it's also wave 10. Uh, I'm gonna say nah to that right now. I'll take I'll take some life steal there though. Some absolute speed up there. Range is still in the positive. I'll grab both of those. The lost duck is an incredible get. Silver bullet is gonna be nice. Uh, I'm I'm actually gonna take banner, knowing that we might be able to bump that. Oh wait, the cooldown got bumped down again. What? Oh, yeah, this increased my attack speed. Eh. The range is why I would take the banner right now. Surely this is not doing 40 already. Okay, 616. All right, but yeah, Baby with a Beard is an incredible, incredible find. It's going to absolutely uh, probably lock this in as an easy win. Whether or not we have an easy win, I think is gonna was gonna be entirely dependent on like, well, what kind of extras do we get? What extra sources of damage do we get? All 
All right. Still wouldn't mind some more luck stuff. Can we get a lucky coin like we did the other day? We got a lot of crit. Right? Yeah, we have 27 crit. That would be quite a bit of luck. Eh. I don't want health. Come on. Fine, glass cannon. Armor's at minus two. We have a horde wave right now, which is actually going to probably be fine. Uh, this is actually a pretty good run. Ooh, run for Wandering Bot. Rip and Tear only does 26, and I have no intent to scale my melee. So it's only scaling off the percentage, which is not nothing. It's just probably not going to be anything. It's probably not going to be anything. All right. Yeah, we've scaled out of control now. Absolutely out of control now. Screen wide, bye bye. Yeah. Even taking a couple of the things that just were more for multi target, you sort of have to do that for a little bit, but now we, I think we can focus on the single target and just make the boss go away. Because a reminder this is a horde wave. You know? This looks pretty good for a normal wave. It's like, this is pretty darn good clearing. Like, only being this many enemies on the screen for a normal wave. And then you're like, oh yeah, it's a horde wave. They're just like, this is a massacre. Absolute massacre. Just, just like that. Piercing bullets changes everything. Tentacle, incredible. Damage up. Percentage damage up, finally. Crown, I'll take a gentle alien glass cannon, sure. Uh... Another bandana is a little weird. It's, it's a 300% or sorry, 30% damage down. But Pierce is like another project. It's just it's so worth it. It's so worth it. Because I mean, is it If I can get more enemies to spawn, it's really worth it. Until I can get more enemies to spawn, it's actually probably not. It will pretty much guarantee every bullet that I fire will, at, in some way, shape, or form, damage the final boss. Yes, we are just talking about the final boss right now. Can you blame me? Look at what's happening. All right. Yeah, I, I, I will say, the shop just not having guns is such a benefit in this scenario. It really absolutely outweighs the fact that you can't upgrade the weapon. It's very strange. It's just, it's a strange challenge that it accidentally has made, but I like it. Uh, yeah, there's still enough time for that to be relevant. Get some dodge, or we could just get, yeah, more crit. Community support is going to be irrelevant at this point. Like, we kill too much, too fast for that to be relevant. No, I want more enemies. Fine, I'll take one of those finally. <clears throat> Got crown relatively early too. Eight harvesting gain from it on the first wave. It's not gonna pay for itself already off of that eight, but it'll pay for itself off of the next step. Over the course of the run, I'm sure. Okay. I'm not gonna... I don't think I'll take any tractors, though, right? I, I think that that's a bit silly. 8% multiplied by 3. It's, it's it's It starts to add up. We're dealing with such bizarre exponentials at this point that the exponentials of harvesting aren't even that noteworthy. It's not like we're playing a harvesting based character. But we're going to have so much more money to buy any silly little thing we want. Nah. Damage, please. Ah, that's damage. Come on. Thank you. It's about time. I was wondering. Uh. 
It's so expensive. Let's sell my gun for it. I don't. I just don't care enough. The thing is, it, it, it's a trap. Oh, it's a trap in a way. That's a wake-up call. Because you're gonna be getting the money, anyways, right? So I don't know. It, it, it's just, it's not as worth the money as it seems. If the whole you know money going to the bag system wasn't a thing, maybe I'd reassess but it, one of I think it's probably one of the less valuable legendaries even with the speed thing removed um hmm. if you're playing like a if you're playing soldier it's a different story it's a completely different soul like story if you're playing <laughs> soldier story if you're playing soldier or um streamer different game like you know obviously then picking up money from across the map is appealing oh that's worth it i know like immediately immediately say hey you know i don't care about that 12 flat ma max hp i mean knowing what we have i'm gonna say sure and the, knowing that i'm going i am going to just continue to take uh downgrades there yes i'll get butterfly i think we can maybe oh my god stop All right, 471 damage. What's our crit on this gun? 43, so what, what is the crit normally? So it has a 3% crit chance at a base. Look how fast that shoots, the, the medical turret. It's beautiful. I don't think it says the cooldown. No. It do not... In hindsight, you know, maybe I could have, like... Meh. I could have bunkered down and stayed by my medical turret with the relic, but I just don't. I'm not. Nah. Good deal. Evaporate them all. Evaporate, evaporate, evaporate. The baby with the beard. Truly, 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 truly. Made it a joke. Um, At this point, you know, whatever. Oh my god, a second baby with a beard? Fine. Percent damage. Dodge. I'll, I'll fix my range. Oh, so we, have, we only have my, minus 5% damage on piercing. Cape is not bad. I'll take a shady potion. I know, I know, re regen potion. Like, it, it's a bit silly there. Fine. It's my armor. Minus 10. Minus 10. Bring it. Goodbye, boss. Goodbye, boss. just started off so silly and then it got even sillier I just want as many enemies to spawn as possible more more gentle aliens I'll take as many mice as show up I would be very honored I'm pretty sure that one armed is just like tagged for percentage damage or something like I think I don't know I can't remember it's been a while it's been a long time since I've opened up that stuff to gander even. Whoop. Okay. Uh ooh, that's actually bait, I think. Let's do it. Let's spice things up. Mostly for the crit and the range. We want lifesteal pretty bad now. More damage, I guess. I want lifesteal. Lifesteal. I mean, the HP regen would be good, too. I don't want to take any... Ooh. 
15 luck up is, I guess, worth gentle alien, sure. I've risked things because it seemed funny. Okay, I'll take another one of those. Okay, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, let alone we can just stand by this thing. Seems to be firing every once a second-ish. Boop. Boop. Is it risky to take damage every second with minus 13 armor? Yeah. If I get it hit one time, do I die? I mean, maybe. Maybe. From the boss? Maybe. Anything else? Nah, from the final boss? Yeah, maybe. But I think we're uh, probably, 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 probably gonna kill so fast that it doesn't matter. That's my guess. My guess is I can probably, literally if I can track them down appropriately, I will kill them before they can hit me. So we literally just have to hope we're spawning on, spawning on the correct side by them or something. You know what? Range up could help, too. Percent damage, great. Adrenaline. At this point, it just doesn't really matter. Garden. What's my crit? My crit is still not as high as I'd like. I'll get some more life steal. I'll get some life steal there. Weird ghost. Ha, ha, ha. More range. Okay. I was gonna summon I was gonna lock the bait, but I'm not gonna summon that on a boss. That's just dumb. But yeah, more range is probably one of the bigger things we could get at this point. When you only have one gun range like range is really important. If you only have one melee weapon, range is I don't know, weirdly problematic. It's just a weird situation. Weird all the way down. Okay. Kind of just satisfying. Just a satisfying little walkabout. Running right up to the X's with a minus a billion armor and still not being scared. It's it's lovely. Should take the crit, probably. Oh well. Percent damage, sure. It's the final boss now. I'll just get more damage. Cyberball on the boss. Eh. Oh, come on. It's fine. I guess I'll take the crit. Oh, I should have taken that. That was that was a silly, silly skip. Take this for a little bit of regen. All right, where yet? Evaporate. All right, now the other one before you can get an actual attack off. Bye bye. Evaporate. And so that was the uh, double one armed. That was the negative four armed. <laughs> to be clear, this does not work with the multitasker making him a eighteen armed. It doesn't unfortunately work like that. Here, I'll even just click it twice and, and prove it. Um, it, for some reason, they're coded differently. Multitasker sets your weapons to 12. One-armed subtracts five weapons. And the fact that they're coded differently changes the outcome of how they are when they're combined. It's something that does, like, doesn't matter in the normal game. It's like a useless piece of stupid trivia that is irrelevant. Uh, but when you're combined, you have the ability to combine two characters together, combine the same character together twice, it becomes quite relevant. It's, it's kind of funny. Uh, but alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.